Yeah. Investigative correspondent Cheryl Atkinson is in Washington this morning with more on these storm chasers of a very different variety. Storm chasers this time around who prey on homeowners. Cheryl, good morning. Good morning, guys. 2011 has been a record year for billion-dollar weather disasters. We've had a dozen so far. And that's created plenty of opportunities for the crooks who follow after the storm to exploit unsuspecting customers. When a monster hailstorm hit the Northeast in 2009, workers for a company called Precision Builders saw opportunity in the aftermath. They went door to door offering free inspections for hail damage and cash for New Jersey homeowners like Jeff and Tanya Williams, who would display signs on their lawns. So, so that was worth $500 if you put the sign. Put the sign out as advertisement for them. The Williams hadn't noticed any hail damage, but figured, why not get a free inspection? Before long, it seemed Precision had convinced half the neighbors they had hail damage. You really did not go through an area that did not have a Precision sign on at least every other lawn. Now Precision and two of its workers have been charged with insurance fraud. The New Jersey Attorney General says they actually inflicted the supposed hail damage themselves to collect insurance money. They've pleaded not guilty. Investigators say storm chaser scams have exploded. Last year alone, there were nearly 1,200 cases. This is undercover video shot by insurance investigators in Illinois. The contractor isn't inspecting the house. He's allegedly denting the roof to make it look like hail damage. Watch how hard he's working at it. Outside Chicago, this contractor was arrested after our station WBBM spotted him appearing to use his thumb to fake hail damage in siding. Why would your thumb make a dent? That's a good question. He's awaiting a court date. It's all aluminum siding. Back in New Jersey, the Williams got suspicious when Precision's repair estimates exactly matched insurance payments. And he said, well, if they gave us 15000 your insurance company, we'll take the fifteen. If they gave us seven, we'll do it for seven. At what point were you starting to go, okay, this is not what it seems. This could be a scam. Right then. This is insurance fraud at its worst. New Jersey Attorney General Paula Dow and Pennsylvania authorities allege precision workers fabricated damage on more than 100 homes for millions of dollars in insurance fraud. It's taking advantage of the system, taking advantage of homeowners who are often innocent. Ultimately, we pay the price in, t in higher insurance premiums that's hurt that are hurting everyone here. We tried to talk to Precision's president, but he didn't answer at his house, and his attorneys didn't return our calls. The Williams say they learned a valuable lesson in the calm after the storm. When someone comes knocking, make sure they're planning to fix a problem, not start one. The National Insurance Crime Bureau tells CBS News there's been a 55 percent increase in questionable hail damage claims since 2008. Erica? Cheryl Atkinson in Washington for us this morning. Cheryl, thanks.